Okay, today we are going to take a look at mapping a high school campus. Just like all the other maps that we have, you can see that where we have mapped is now overlaid on the Google map, but you can tell the difference because of the quality of the picture and the color, brightness, and contrast that you have. Good part about this is, is that where this is gonna save you, because most high school campuses are anywhere between 25 and 49 acres, to try to go out there and manually walk this entire campus might take a team of three people, three to five days. And then even after just a couple of days of walking the campus and looking around, whether it's on top of the buildings here, or whether it's down into the um, parking lots, Basically what happens is, is that the human eye will miss things. By going out there and utilizing a 4K HD camera and its mapping capabilities, you're able to, right from your desktop, do an inspection of the entire property at your leisure, and then you can go back and look at it again, again, and again, as you'll constantly have access. You can go out there and then zoom right in. You can see that this was taken at an altitude of 400 feet. But with a 4K camera, you can actually see the condition of your parking lot. And then in this particular instance, even post uh, senior painting of their parking spots. And then you can see the detail of the ones that were taken this year. This was actually taken uh, in April of 2022. And you can see that they were just on break. It was on a Sunday afternoon. But you can walk around and see that, A, in this particular instance, you might, might need some additional striping, especially where the fire lanes are, and handicapped spots. You can go out there and look in the entire process and determine what the condition of the parking lot is. You can see that we have some deterioration here. Again, that's probably going to be quite obvious to the human eye, but then again, it may not, you know, because they'll probably not walk right over it. However, then you can go out and, and zoom right in, take a look at condition of the roofs. You can see here, you can zoom almost like you're right on top of it and take a look and see that, okay, it looks like everything in this particular building looks decent. You can zoom out until you maybe find something. Oh, those are shadows. Then zoom back out, determine, oops, oh, we got over here. Here's some problems of concrete. Again, identifying it also, too, looks like so we've got some issues of uh, leaking vehicles over here. But that's not necessarily a problem with the parking lot itself. But then you can go over and take a look at the condition of the other roofs. And zoom in right inside here. Take a look. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, we do have some leakage over here, but that could have been from just a clogged drainage pipe. I do see that we're getting some ponding over here by the drainage. And even this over here has got, even got some water on it. There hadn't been any rain for a few days. So that's just, you can get an indication that you need to get your maintenance crew up there and go out there and uh, clean those drains out. Again, it can just go out there and prevent a lot of other major issues in the future and plus also too now with this when you're seeing the good condition of these roofs over here uh, in the event that the your, your building is then donate uh, damaged by a tornado uh, in terms of your insurance claim you can go back there and show them hey this is what it looked like in august or april april 17th 2022 is when it was taken and show them what it's all about you can then go out there and now go over to another building Take a look at the roof over here. Well, this looks like it's in pretty decent shape, probably relatively new. However, we do have a clogged drain here and here. Again, indicating a, and a couple more on top here. Again, just to get your maintenance crews out there. Unclog them so you don't have those issues, so you don't create additional problems. You can see this, these drains here are definitely very clogged. Also, when you do and you see in here with this particular compressor, we do have some sort of... Um, leakage issue again that could just be something as simple as a clogged uh, drain pipe 
but again, an indication to go out there and have your maintenance crews go out and fix something like that. Now you can also, it's really something neat that you see that you can use over here. Is that we're going to take a look. Here's our baseball diamonds. Uh, these baseball diamonds, you know, not for April, really don't look in bad shape. Really in pretty decent shape. However, the thing is, what you can do is a unique feature that we have over here. You can just go out, click on this blue tab on the left, and then instantly click on plant health. And then you'll have an indication going out there what the condition of the vegetation is around there. Things that are dark red are dead. Things that are dark green are alive. And these other things here, I'm, not, I'm saying that these outfields and the infield doesn't look like it's in all that great shape on either one of those fields. You can see some of the other just escaping over onto the neighborhood that you've got some good, not bad for April vegetation. Now, if you ever needed to as well, if you ever have a problem that you can see with Jane, that you can go out here with a one click and then take of elevation. Now, it all looks very low here because it takes into consideration the, the elevation of the buildings. However, if you only want to look at just the terrain itself, you can't do that. Let me close this down and open it up. You can see this is very well set as draining. Right, as indicated, I know this just from looking at it, you would be able to as well. Uh, but you'd be able to tell that the high spots are in the dark red and it all drains down into the darker blue. But you, I also have some indications over here where you can actually show what the actual elevation is. And you can actually click that on the right over here where it says location and then just put your dot anywhere that you want to. And when, it when you do click on it and you push it, push it down, Let's go out there and says that particular instance is 620.9 feet uh, above um, uh, means sea level, which means above sea level. Uh, and then you can look over here. You can tell this is taller by 30 feet, uh, 563 or 653.85 means MSL, means sea level. Feet above means sea level is what that means. Now, it's also nice over here, is once you can dip that back into the normal section, you can annotate any type of issues that you have by putting out there uh, and, and noting them along the way to determine where the issues are. You can put that out there. Just click it so you can, you know, someone in your maintenance field or your facilities team can take a look at this so you can all determine uh, where the uh, issues may be because you can go out there and show it. Or the facilities person can do that, and then the uh, maintenance people can go back and look at this at a different time. A really cool thing about this is it's just by click of the button, a little cube down here at the bottom, we're going to go out there and we're going to make ourselves a 3D HD model. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to give it some time to generate over here. And once it does, you're going to have a complete three-dimensional model. Uh, taken from two med two dimensional pictures, which will then allow you to zoom in and take a look at your property with a three dimensional pro with a three dimensional view. It also, then will take you you know give you a better idea of where things are in terms of your property, what might need some issues, just to give you an idea of what's going on. Again, you can zoom in just like you did before. See even just over here, you can see the, there's the sign on the side of the building. Uh, we can go to the front of the building here. You can see the football field over here. And if we were to go to the front of the building, you can zoom in and even see the cars that are there. And that's our three-dimensional model. Last thing I want to do is just show you its measuring capability. And what better place to measure things than on a football field? And what we've done here, you can measure. This was, you probably need to just get rid of that for a second. But measuring device, you can click over here and click distance. And I'll show you how accurate this is. We're going to take this from about, well, let's zoom in as quickly as, or as much as we can. 
You know, that's the five yard line and the 10 yard line. Let's zoom in so quickly. So we'll go about halfway through the goal line. And we're going to take it out okay, about halfway through the 10 yard line. Try to make this as level as possible. No, oh, it isn't. It's going to be a little bit off. Anyway, then you can go out here. It's, you can see it's 30.46 feet. Uh, the slope of the surface level and vertical height across the ways, uh, one foot above mean sea level. That's out there. But this just goes to show you the accuracy of it, the things that you can do with this, um, the ability to have, again, uh, Someone can go out there and, and take a look at your entire property. You can see the condition of some of the parking lot, maybe issues over here where you need to have them sealed off, or perhaps even a bigger issue because that's one heck of a long crack that happens to be here. You see the drains are doing a good job. But you can all, you know, just go back and take a look at the whole thing over and over again and identify issues and perhaps address them before they come into major repair issues. With that in mind, I do appreciate your time. This is a great video. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out to me at uh, Mike Cipriani at Mike at MikeSipPhotography.com. That's Mike at M-I-K-E-C-I-P Photography.com. Thanks. Have a great day.